In this example, I'm going to demonstrate how to graph a exponential function on my math lab that has a reflection in the x-axis and a reflection in the y-axis. So we have the graph of f of x equals base 5 to the x as our original graph, and we want to graph the function g of x, which is negative 5 to the negative x. So first we need to identify the movements on the original graph. If we have a negative in front of the base, that is an x-axis flip, which makes the graph flip down underneath the horizontal asymptote. Also, we have a negative in the power, which makes the graph flip to the left over the y-axis. So I'm going to click to enlarge the graphing tools. I'm going to graph the y uh, horizontal asymptote first. The asymptote is y equals 0. This graph is not moving up or down or left or right, so the asymptote is staying at y equals 0. So select the line tool, select the dashed line, click to plot a point at 0, and then move horizontally to click a second point to finish graphing that horizontal asymptote. Next, I want to select the exponential tool and select the solid line, and then I want to click to graph this. Anywhere you click, it'll default to where it originally is, and then you have to put in your movements. So the original graph starts with a y-intercept at 0, 1. I want to do a double reflection. It's not moving up or down at all. So I'm going to click the box, reflect over x-axis, which you can see automatically makes the graph flip down. Now I want to take this flipped graph, and I want to twist it over the y-axis or reflect it um, over the horizontal y-axis, and so click the y-axis reflection box, and you'll see that the graph is now going the other way. So the base, if I click here, make sure that that matches the base you began with, and then close out, save the graph, and then check the answer.